everyone. Happy Monday, the 14th. Kick it peaches this morning, people. We got a couple of orders ready to go that came in over the weekend. Got the vlog all compiled, edited, posted, done. Got a bunch of other random stuff done. And now we are in Genesis 46.3, where it says, I am God, the God of your father, he said. Do not be afraid to go down to Egypt, for I will make you into, into a great nation there. Yep. If you don't know the story, it's right here. There's so many good stories in the Bible. Really, it really is. I mean, the story of Jesus' life and all of that is fantastic, and that's all in the New Testament. But the Old Testament is full of so many stories and bloody battles and crazy stuff. It's really, the, the book has everything. I mean, whatever genre you're into, it's in here. And it's good stuff. It's the truth. All right, I got work to do. I'll see you guys later. The goal for today was to clean up the shop, just kind of find my bearings um, after the last project, the last couple, really. Holy crap, I did so much more than that. I reorganized a little bit. I mean, this place looks great. I got the drill press moved over here. Got a storage unit popped in there to hold a bunch of stuff that's just kind of been strewn all over the place. Got the uh, planer over there now. Another pipe clamp rack up. Oop, there's a table there. Um, but something I did today, I don't know if you guys have ever noticed, but all my dust collection pipes are going in the wrong direction from where my unit is. All the Ys are literally just slanted the wrong way. So something I've been wanting to do to fix that, I finally started to do. I added this section there to the wall, goes all the way to that wall, through the wall. Now hang on, I'll show you the other side. There's the pipe, and boop, there she is, popping through. So tomorrow I will finish all of this and get the actual dust collection unit moved out here. I got a bunch of crap, I gotta get out of the way first. So that's gonna be nice to have that out here. One less thing taking up space in the shop. So I'm gonna gain that corner because I've got the actual dust collector and then the separator as well. So all that is just gonna go out there and I'm gonna add a floor sweep to that down pipe there with a blast gate. It's been a long time coming. I've had the supplies in the shop for, I don't know, like four or five months, just taking up space, getting knocked over all the time, collecting dust and stink bugs and holy crap, it feels good to finally, finally check that off my list, almost. Tomorrow, I will get that done. Whew. So tomorrow, as I wrap up that last few stuff with, you know, taping and last gates and strapping and whatnot, I can then start working on my next project, which is the slab table. So I've got a lot to do with that. I've got to move on that because I've got a hutch lined up. I've already had to push that back. I've got some floating nightstands. I had to push those back. Ugh, getting tired of pushing stuff back, but a one woman show and you know the maintenance stuff has to get done and there's no one else here to do it Ugh. you know what just this is the way it goes i don't care as long as you don't either anyway i'll see you guys tomorrow have a good night bye good morning nice of you to join me i've already got the dust collector and separator moved out here i did finally take the time to cut the hoses now that they're in their final home, I don't need the dust to travel a full length hose. It can just do little sections. So that will help with the suction. And uh, I also got the downpipe swapped over to a floor sweep. So I added in a 90 degree elbow so that I could add a blast gate. And now I've got that down there. Again, cut the hose, to keep it nice and short. Cleaned out all of the pipes by opening up one section at a time and having it run. There was definitely a lot of stuff stuck in there. More than likely because the suction was just in the wrong direction. So I think I'm going to have a much better experience now, which I'm pumped about. I do still need to finish strapping all of the new pipe that I installed yesterday. And then I've got some other stuff I got to do. You guys remember a while back, Jeff from Fitzsimmons Custom Woodworks hooked me up with these uh, struts up here that I installed for ceiling tracks. Well, the other day, he hooked me up with a whole bunch more. So I got these small sections here that I'm going to try to connect in line with this. And that way there, when I have these two benches over here, 
which is where they're intended to be. Um, I'll be able to just slide my sander hose right across, any plugs, anything like that. I'll be able to run this air hose, which is just droopy right now. That'll go across. That's gonna be really nice. I can't wait. It's these little things, man. They just make you so much more productive. And yeah, they take time to get done, but worth it. All right, see you later. That's a wrap for today. It was kind of a crazy day, a little all over the place, but I got a ton done. Dust collection is completed. Finally. It's only taken me, I don't know, like a year. Whatever. It's done. I also got a few more of the struts installed, so I have a nice long run of it on that section now. Um, if you're local and you want a few of these struts, Jeff hooked me up with a whole bunch of them. These are some short ones that I just, um, probably not going to need them. DM me if you want them. I, uh, I get all the hooks from Rockler. So you can see I got like the eye hooks and then just regular hooks. You can get them all. I'm sure you can make your own, but I like to buy their trolleys and then the hooks just work with them. Anyway, sealing stuff makes everything easier. It really does. I'm just loving getting organized and man, the shop has come a long way in a short period of time. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good night. See ya. Good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday. I got all bundled up this morning. I even got my boots on, two pairs of socks. I got pajamas underneath my pants, three layers of shirts. I was ready for the cold because it's 12 degrees outside. But my mini split is maintaining 54 in the shop. People always ask me how I like this. There you go, there's your proof. 12 outside, 54 in here. Things pretty damn good. Um, yes, it runs all day and night. That does suck. I don't see a huge effect on our electric bill, which I like. But you know what, it's really not bad. This is a 22 by just over 19 foot shop. So, I mean, that's a pretty good size, about a two car garage. It's not super buttoned up. There's some gaps above the doors. The doors themselves are only R5 insulation. Definitely could be buttoned up better and then I bet you it would be even warmer in here. But anyway, that's, I'm happy. Anyways, I've got work to do. I'll catch up with all of you later. Stay warm, my friends. Stay warm. I'm such a dork. Wrapping up for today, got all the slabs laid out based on what's going to be part of the tabletop and what's going to be for the two matching benches. So I'm going to have to rip a line off of these two and join them to hit my full width. And they're going to be about six feet long. And I got to flatten them on my new sled that I made today. So here's what it is. It's pretty basic. I got a bolt coming up through some three-quarter plywood, washers on either side, and a nut to hold it nice and tight there. Then a nut and a washer on either side of this. And this is literally how I level it. So you can just crank it up. Boop. That's when you tighten it. You can do that on all four sides. And then the actual sled itself is just some angle iron with a piece of angle iron uh, welded on that. It's just welded right on the end to keep it snug up against this steel tube. And these right here are really just to make it a little more rigid, although to be honest, they might be a little overkill. Uh, so the sled is a little sticky right now. Um, I have to clean all the metal tomorrow and then I will wax it and that should help with that. Same with the sliding of this. I'm going to just add a couple of stops on either side to make sure that I don't run my bit into the side of it because that would suck. Um, and this is the bit that I'm going to be using. This thing is intense. I have to be honest. Don't be surprised if I like poop myself while using this because it's going to scare the shit out of me. Ooh, anybody want to come flatten these for me? I'll pay you in beer. <laughs> just kidding, but seriously. Come. Uh, just kidding though. Um, so yeah, this is my jig. What do you think? For those of you who are going to ask, no, I do not have plans for this. I did not use plans for this. This was a product of me googling my brains away 
and coming up with something on my own based on the Google results. We'll find out if it works. But before I can do that, I have some other things I need to get done. So I don't know that I'm gonna get to flattening these. Definitely not tomorrow, maybe Friday. But what comes before that is the base. Gotta get all that ready to go. So I've got a lot to do. So I'm gonna stop talking to you. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good night. Bye. Good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday. Getting the verse out early today. We are in 1 Samuel 12, 20. And this is one of those ones that needs a little bit of a backstory to make it make sense. So Samuel was kind of a representative of God and his job was to create a monarchy with God as the king in Israel. So God's doing all these great things for the people of Israel and yet they're not happy with any of it. Like he does all these wonderful blessings for them and they're just like, meh. What about this? They're like, they're like the kid on Christmas who you can give them every single gift that they could ever possibly want. And they're like, oh, but you know what? I didn't get that one gimmicky one from the commercials. I really wanted that. The rest of this is just crap. That's annoying, right? So that's what the people of Israel were like. They're like, okay, yeah, God's the king, but we don't want him. Give us a human. And poor Samuel is just like, Samuel's mind is blown. He's like, are you guys kidding me? So then he starts listing off all of the blessings that God has done for them. He's like, how about this? How about that? And they're just like, oh crap, you're right. We suck. They're like, yeah, we've, we've committed quite a bit of evil towards God. They're like, can you do us a favor, Samuel? Can you talk to him so he doesn't kill us? Like, please. And his response in verse 20 is, do not be afraid. You've done all this evil, yet do not turn away from the Lord but serve the Lord with all your heart. So he's basically saying like, okay, yeah, you guys have done wrong here, but you have a chance. You can change your ways and go forward serving the Lord and appreciating his blessings. Be grateful. Now, take this story and apply it to your lives because we are all like the people of Israel. We are all that kid on Christmas that we just want more, but we can change. All right, I'll see you guys later. Have a good day. You know, I'm a woodworker, but today I spent the day working with metal. Same with yesterday, so this might be a new thing. Uh, I got the jig all cleaned up. Uh, I did steel wool and then acetone, and then I waxed it. It's moving much, much better. I also marked out uh, one inch increments on it, so that way there I can just move one inch at a time. Uh, so that way there my two inch diameter bit I'll just be always making um, safe cuts. I won't have to worry about doing any climb cuts by making sure that I'm only doing one inch at a time. I also got the table base and the four legs for the benches, all steel wool, acetone, and then two coats of self-etching primer on those. Everything's upside down right now. Gotta get two coats of paint on those. Man, it's moving along. All right, I'm done, and for mañana, I have uh, something uh, fun up my sleeve, and uh, I'm sure I'll check in with y'all. Maybe. Maybe, baby. Yeah, no, I'll check in. I'll show you what's up. All right, have a good night. Bye. There we go. All right, how's that? The heat instantly goes to the back of your throat, like in a second. Yeah, that's good. As promised, a check-in. I didn't say what time I would check in or from where, but here we are at Arethusa Falls. That is the waterfall there, completely frozen, but we're warming up with some hot cocoa, and what is this, Malibu Black? Cheers, my friends. I'll see you guys later. Bye.
that's a wrap for today. Not my typical shop day or even an admin day, but wow, such a good day. It was all fresh snow out there. No one had been out on uh, these trails yet, so we had to forge our own paths, which was exhausting, <laughs> but really had fun snowshoeing and just taking in the sights and the smells and holy crap, did it feel good to just get away, even for a couple hours. We left at like six o'clock this morning and we just got in like half an hour ago. Long day, but we, you know, topped it off with some breakfast. <laughs> so good. Anyway, because I took today off, I will be working tomorrow as much as I like to not work on the weekends. That was the trade-off. Absolutely worth it in my book. Anyway, I will see you all tomorrow. Have a good night. See ya. If I don't check in first thing in the morning, do you just assume that I'm not working? Well, you know what they say about when you assume. So, got the first coat of paint on the legs back there. You can kind of see them. A little, little bit of a chaos thing happening here. Well, I get the first coat on the legs and the first coat on the entire base. Everything's upside down right now. Get that flipped over when it's dried and get the second coat on. Also, made a run to the depot today because my buddy Rob Pete Rob from Pete's Country Craft gave me the suggestion for the jig where um, he said add another nut underneath kind of as a jam nut. So if the vibration from the router were to loosen the first one, I don't have to worry about it then dropping. The second one will catch it. So that's a smart one. Good looking out, man. It's one of those things that like you don't know you need it until like it happens. So I'm happy. Aside from getting the second coat of paint on everything once that's dry, I'm pretty much done for the day. Uh, not much more I can do while paint dries. It can't be making any dust. So slabs, are gonna be getting started Monday. I'm doing it, I'm doing it, it's gonna happen. You slabs, you all my bitches. Mm-hmm, all right. I gotta share the verse of the day with you guys. I'll do that in a little bit. Have a good weekend. I'll see you guys Monday, probably. Okay, bye. Need a second, people. Yeah, I have black fingers. This is just normal. Um, thank you all for listening and watching the uh, Behind the Maker podcast. Um, a lot of you are listening and a few of you have been watching on YouTube, which is pretty cool. I did add a link to both of them. Uh, if you click the link in my profile, there's an option there to watch on YouTube or listen on Spotify, or you can watch, I mean, listen on any other platform that you use for podcasts. But yeah, thanks guys uh, for all watching that, listening. I appreciate it. I'm enjoying the feedback you guys are giving. It's pretty cool. All right, see ya. You come over me? Ah! Where are you going? Where are you going? <laughs>